Hey guys, so uh, I was going to be uploading a video that I recorded yesterday, but uh, as you might know, uh, YouTube is actually down right now. Uh, it's not working, so I can't upload that video. So you know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm just gonna record another video. Okay, so I was gonna record on my 4K monitor so you'd have 4K gameplay of this game, but it doesn't, I don't wanna fight it to get it over onto this monitor, so I'm just gonna play it on this this screen and you're gonna be getting it 1440 instead of 4K. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna be playing 60 parsecs. If you guys recall, actually, did I make a video about this? I think I made a video about a million and a half years ago of, uh, uh, of 60 seconds. I think I only made one video. I might have made like a couple parts to it. Um, you know, I want to check. I can't check because YouTube. Oh, that's great. I'll put an amendment in of me checking it later, okay? Uh, alert! Nuclear apocalypse imminent. Uh, executing order 1961. New protocol initiated. Commence this, uh... Astro Citizen Emergency Drill and Brace for Nuclear Impact. Duct Tape! Duct Tape fixes all problems, but how do you fix duct tape? <laughs> More duct tape! <laughs> okay, let's see. Welcome to the- I also changed- okay, cool, it does work. Grab some soup! I can't grab that soup. Drop it into the escape shuttle. Where's the escape shuttle? I'm just running every over everything. Okay, so then I can pick up I can only pick up one thing at a time. Soup. Come on, soup. Wait, what does it want me to find some medical supplies? Okay, so this is definitely just the tutorial. My god, they gotta put everything so far away. Okay, uh, find the handbook. Oh my god, a handbook? How did I just grab the shovel? Handbook, where the heck is the handbook? Is that it? No, that's a random book, it's not the handbook apparently. I don't know where the handbook is. You're gonna have to give me a little bit more direction once we're actually in a nuclear apocalypse scenario. Okay, that's what a handbook looks like. I gotta remember that. Cosmos 101. Uh, to the shuttle. Uh, find some crafting resources. I think a shov shovel co counts as crafting resources, right? No? I guess not. Everybody ne needs toilet paper, right? Crafting material. Crafting resources. Is that a crafting resources? Is that a crafting resources? Are you a crafting resources? Okay, so brown box. I was standing right next to it. I was just here. Put the crafting resources in the escape shuttle. Find, find a crewmate. You look uh, like a stable human being. Alert! Incoming missile. Uh, you can head over to the escape shuttle. Okay, now let's grab soup. And then what else do I need? I'll grab you as well. Now I'll grab... No, I, don't, I need more hands for them. So then I'll just grab this soup here to the shuttle. I'm super bad at preparing for these kinds of things. To the shuttle. I'm very, very bad at preparing for this kind of stuff, so. Uh, there was another box in here, wasn't there? And then I'm gonna grab you as well. To the shuttle. I'm super bad. Come on. I don't have enough hands for that. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, it was a miss. Uh, it was sealed within 60 seconds, surprise, discarded. Great. Alert! 
Incoming missile detected. High risk of impact. I already have everything in there. We've only got 60 seconds. Okay, so they do give you a couple, a couple like tests to see if you're actually ready for this. I don't have enough for that. Again. That takes up three. Oh my god, I don't even know what that is. To the shuttle. Come on, I'm already halfway through my time. I don't even know if I have any food right now. Oh, there's another soup. Come on. Get in my hands, dude. I don't know if I actually need to jump in. Okay. Don't panic. Okay, so if you don't jump in, does it just reset and say, that, oh, that one was a miss? Because I think I did better the first. <laughs> I only got four soups. That's not going to last us 60 parsecs. Resources of all your crafting and upgrading needs. I don't even know if my camera is centered. I think it's centered. It's kind of centered. Day one. We only have five soups. Oh, I didn't get a first aid, did I? Okay, well, let's see. What do I do? I got an artifact, though. That's always useful, right? I don't know what that's used for at all. I haven't played this before. Greetings, Astro. A-S-T-R-O. Uh... Computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be Emmett, right? I am pleased to announce that according to my data, you are qualified to become the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle. Ca Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the uh, uh, Astro Citizens Program, please accept our apologies for the la uh, for the silent, si slight inconvenience of being hurry uh, hurled. Oh my God. I'm so good at reading. 60 parsecs away from Earth. First order of business, find a safe place to land. And then uh, and then try to contact the outside world. The outside universe at that point, I think. Please turn over the main computer for further instructions. Please turn on the main computer. I'm so good at reading. Uh, for further instructions. It is located at the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular uh, rationing protocol. and f uh, And feed your crew. Take it away, Captain. I'll turn you on. Oh, yeah. What? That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, Captain, all the Astro Citizens missions uh, begin with the uh, commanding officer delivering a moral boosting, morale boosting speech. Don't let me stop you. Everybody is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. Uh, this is it. You can really show what, uh, what breed of Captain you will be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? You give agility, intelligence, strength. I'm going to give intelligence. Oh my god, do I get to pick multiples? No, I only get to pick one. Let's go with that. I don't really know what that means. Handbook. How do I give them like half of a soup? <laughs> I think we're good. I'm just going to give them nothing today. <laughs> you get nothing. Feed your crew. I'm not giving them anything. <laughs> Uh, a clever speech sounded like a great idea. Of course, uh, of course, that only works if the one who delivers it is well witty enough. <laughs> Your tongue suddenly stops working, and all you could utter was, "How about some fresh air?" Let's open the air. <laughs> I told you I'm a genius. As far as speeches go, it was the worst one <laughs> in this part of the universe. <laughs> Your crew seems to be uh, in an, in agreement about this. Congratulations, Captain. It's day one, and you're already succeeding in bringing your people together. Against a common foe, no less. <laughs> what does this do? Crafting unavailable. Cool. That's where my gun would go if I had one. I have a mask. It's not going to do a whole lot for me in space right now, but you know. Do we need water? I, I never saw any water, so do we actually even need water? Uh-huh. 
Ration soup to all. Let's see, I have one medicine, five soup. <laughs> Sock puppets, uh, stop it. Insanity, or so they say. So the sock puppet. Oh, I didn't grab any sock puppets then. So all my people are gonna go insane. Hmm. Hmm. I got four people though. This is that dude from Rick and Morty that uh, he's like, ah, uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't remember his name. <laughs> It's Maximus, Renegade Star Soldier! Sorry I'm late. It was happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> happy hour! But he's like, yes, we're all great. Except for you're just the... <laughs> you're, you're the kid who... Uh, uh, I forget the line now. Vance, stay calm! Oh, so you're the leader now because we gave you a jacket? You're the learning disabled kid we do photo ops with! Okay, uh, ouch, but... Okay, this, this is triggering me. I need space. I need space from this! Um, it's in season three. Two, two, one, three. You can tell I'm a huge Rick and Morty fan. <laughs> uh, let's look at the computer. Captain, it's important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Even one can could be the difference between life and death. Don't forget to keep good inventory of your stock, unless you want to, uh, if you want to eat your own crewmates. Haha. <laughs> I haven't done that ever. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I'm glad you clarify, or else I would have done it. Please appreciate it and laugh. <laughs> uh, look, we're bonding. Look, we're bonding already. This is bonding. <laughs> who, who will perform? I feel like a computer would be better at communicating than this. Okay. I think Google would be better. Uh, who will perform the routinely uh, supply check? The only requirement is simple uh, mathematics. I realize it might be a lot to add, a lot. I might be asking a lot for somebody who can't read. Uh, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. Um, I don't really know who to pick for this, and I. Hmm. Hunger, health. Okay, so I don't know how to check the smarts for people. Do 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 do. Hold on. I'm not doing that very well. Can you guess what song I was <laughs> attempting though? Communications console. I can't communicate with anyone. Uh, I don't know. You, uh, old lady, and uh, old lady's gonna starve us out instantly, so I can't. Also, have you noticed that the punch cards have exactly the same code for all of them? It's the exact same punch code. Because these, I'm assuming that these are punch cards, and you'd like stick them in and then it reads where the holes are. That's how computers used to work. They all have the same thing, which means they're all gonna do the same thing. Uh,. I assume that the old lady is just gonna feed us all into starvation instantly. Uh, Tom Johnson, Tom Thompson might be a good pick. Baby Bronco, he's he's fat, so he's gonna make us all starve as well. But he's also scared of starving, so he might be a good pick. And then Emmett Lewis, the person who thought that a good intellectual speech was opening the airlock. I really have a great selection of people here. We're gonna go with Baby Bro. <laughs> Screw it, I don't even know. Let's see, is there anything else I could do? A clever speech sound. Uh, that's, can't do anything. Uh, let's end the day then. We're all good on food, so you know, I'm just going to end the day. Watch somebody's gonna be dead already. Day three. 
Still no water for anyone. Good news, Captain. Uh, this shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well, plus one soup. <laughs> uh, the routine supply check is now complete, and it does not compute. An error was made. That's what uh, we get for trusting humans to do math. Minus one soup. So I'm exactly even. It's almost like they didn't have uh, pre-stocked with emergency food supply, and <laughs> we, we were just misplaced one temporarily, you know? Maybe? No? I think so. Uh, some of the supplies were missing, and the current number of soup cans on board is five, exactly what I had before. Uh, with decent leadership and rationing res uh, restraint, uh, the reserves of food on the ship should be sufficient for the time being. That said, uh, it is your best. It is in your best interest to pre uh, procure more as soon as possible. Uh, did it go down any further? No. Let's see what the computer says. Captain, the crafting module is back up. Uh, back in what? Oh, oh my god! In the back of the captain cabin. My god, I'm so good at reading. Is now active. It's pretty self-explanatory. This wonderful machine lets you create and destroy. In accordance with the principles of mass conservation, <laughs> can't break the laws of physics. All you need to do, all you need, is a little bit of materials, chemicals, or, or power. Uh, use it to craft, because E equals M C squared, so power works as well. Energy, no Randall, just pure energy. Energy, like electric, solar, or what? No Randall, just. Pure energy, uh, as well as items to uh, and shuttle system. Oh my god! As well as upgrade items and shuttle systems. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So that's good. That's good. This, this I haven't even looked at. Let's see that. Um, what would I like to do? Craft. Uh, what does that mean? Upgrade. And crap, recycle. Let's see what I can recycle. I'm not gonna recycle any of that. I'm not gonna be recycling any of that. Artifact. I, I'm gonna save that for now. I don't. I feel like that could be important in the future. Atomic battery. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save that for now. Handbook. Yes, I'm gonna destroy that. And a shovel. Let's see what I can craft. I can't craft soup. I need. I need more chemicals. Uh, I need chemicals for that. Chemical, I mean, I guess chemicals, socks are made of plastic, I guess you could say that. Uh, I could make a lighter. I could make a communicator. I could make a tape. Let's see. Does the communicator console even work right now? I don't even know if that would work. Oh, that's where the battery, that's where the battery went. I don't know if I should do anything right now. I'm so bad at this. Let's see what everybody's status is. Hunger, okay. Hunger, okay. Uh, yeah, hunger, okay. Hunger, okay. I'm just gonna starve you guys for a couple days, okay? Y'all have to be moderately hungry. Come on, we're in space. Captain, I told you, uh, I told you I turned on the shuttle crafting system back in, uh, the shuttle. I recommended use it utilizing the machine. Hey, idiot. <laughs> Craft something. I guess we're gonna... Craft a communicator. Did I actually make it? Confirm. Oh, so does it make it on the next turn then? Holy crap, I have a lot of materials. That takes only materials and power. This is materials, that's materials, and this is materials. That's okay, so I don't have anything that actually uses electricity. Can I turn electricity into things? Let's see if I can upgrade anything. System, crafting module. Artifact. I'm gonna upgrade the artifact. Upgrade the atomic battery. I'm gonna upgrade, can I upgrade the system? Two days, okay, so that's two days to do that. Craft, I'm gonna craft a communicator because that's only gonna take one day. Oh my gosh, you found the holographic chess set on, the, uh, on board. I, I would play chess forever, are you kidding me? You've never heard of holographic chess? It's just like regular chess, but with, with, a, uh, with a big round board. And your pieces are holographic monsters. Because it doesn't use physical pieces, I can totally play you. Uh, you'll have to input my moves. My moves, but just remember, 
I control the airflow to where you sleep at night. <laughs> You'd better not cheat. Uh, is all I'm saying. Uh, Want to play? Let's play. Agility or intelligence? I'm pretty dumb, so I'm going to go with agility. I'm going to give everybody some soup now. I don't know if that's going to use up an entire soup. I'm pretty sure it won't use up an entire soup for each of them, right? Let's see, if there's only one soup on here, I'm screwed. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> they each had an entire soup. I should have made you guys starve longer. You defeated you you defeated me at holographic chess? How? Wait. How did my pieces end up there? <laughs> did you input the wrong moves for my my turn? Ugh, you did, didn't you? You little cheater. I'm tempted to turn off life support unless you choke on that smug look you're wearing, Captain. But wait. Now that I'm looking at it, I may have found a way to optimize our life support system. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'll let you, uh, I'll let you one, I'll let this one slide. Good game. Crafting completed. Uh, new item available, communicator. Now I'm going to upgrades the, I mean, I can upgrades the crafting module. That's going to take two days. I can upgrade the handbook. I don't know what that's actually going to do. I feel like just screw, oh my god, that's going to take just energy. Just pure energy. We found a small metal box in one of the compartments labeled uh, to cert. Do open. Uh, do you take apart uh, the lock and gather some elements from it? Ignore what's inside? Or you could try opening it, which could require uh, deft, deft fingers. I don't know what deft. What? Uh, which will it be? We're going to use an intelligence on that. You guys all suck freaking eating an entire can of soup each. How do I give them half a can? Couldn't Wasn't that a feature in the last one? Uh, you carefully dismantled the lock on the box and found it, uh, you found it in the shuttle. The box being useless now, you turned your attention to the parts of the disassembled lock. The electric doodads looked promising, but most turned out to be trash. What a waste of time. Brilliant. Let's see what you have to say. There is nothing to report, Captain. I suggest you... Captain, would you mind covering your mouth when you yawn? I thought you... Uh, I thought you got a good night's sleep. Wait, could this be? Boredom? Yes, I have heard that uh, you human... That you humans need entertainment. Excitement. Such a good reader. In their lives to function properly. How curious. Captain, you're sitting in a state-of-the-art uh, state space shuttle, drifting through uh, the deep cosmos, full of wonder and mystery. Can you at least pretend you're having a good time? Handbook. Nothing. That's handbook. You guys suck. Eat an entire... Unavailable. So let's just end the day then. Oh. End day. Space engineer. Yesterday started pretty slow, but you managed to turn it around, browsing your Astro Citizen handbook uh, on the toy... <laughs> uh, on the toil. It. I mean... In your airlock, you found a set of exercises, decided to try them out. Uh, you did jumping jacks all afternoon. How fun. Uh, but more importantly, it was healthy. You feel much better now. Upgrade complete. Crafting module level two. You are in great shape today, Captain. Uh, you now you now feel vigorous. I don't really know what to do. It's going to take three days for that one. Let's upgrade the handbook because YOLO. I already read that one. Read this. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them. And more importantly, uh, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference, or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. <laughs> we need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. Uh, for all we know, the survivors of depths, uh, our survival depends on it. Who do you want to put in charge for monitoring these communications? Old ladies are good at listening to things, right? Or they're, they're, no, they're good at talking about things. Sorry. Let me see how you guys, your hunger is doing. You're all doing okay. I'm going to say just 
wait until they're almost starved to death and then give them the last can of soup. Dang it, I can't believe they all ate an entire can. Captain, you need to see this. I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. The signal we intercepted, uh, the signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. They're alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the reds. Uh, it's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent citizens, uh, civilizations in the galaxy, in this galaxy. Dang it, I'm so good at reading. Uh, the signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume that we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather your life, will never be the same, Captain. Mega did a splendid job. She was able to trace some of the uh, telemagnetic, electromagnetic... I'm so, so good. How am I this good? Electromagnetic interferences to what seems to be the potential landing spot for our, uh, for our flight path. Our ETA to the celestial body or whatever it might be is uh, T5. Upgrades complete. Uh, your new available handbook revised edition. Megan complete, uh, complains about an empty stomach. Tom is doing well, men uh, doing well mentally. He looks alert. You suck. Vigorous. Sanity. Alert. He's going insane. He's totally fine. You're in charge of everything right now because... No, actually, I'm, I'm doing okay too. What does this say? Oh no, I've been hacked. Uh, the virus came in the transmission that, uh, from that small asteroid. It's taking our flight control and steering us away. Help, Captain. Get it out of me. Strength or intelligence? I think strength is just going to be kicking it, so I'm just going to do another intelligence. You and your crew, crew plugged in emergency console into the hard drive and deleted the virus. Or so you thought. Captain, uh, that was a power outed. Power outlet. <laughs> I don't think that uh, trying to kick it in would have done any better. So, I mean... You know. Uh, the short circuit damaged the system. It took me six hours and a considerable chunk of our resources to fix the issue. On the bright side, your mistake fried the hard drive instantly. The virus is gone. GG. Uh, our course is, course is not changed. We will be arriving at our potential landing site uh, soon. ETA T4. T-4. You are still in great health. Megan keeps asking for soup. Tom continues to look alert. You are not really, uh, really complaining, but I know you're hungry, Captain. Uh, baby is hungry. Tom is asking for some soup. Okay, well, I'm just going to ration the last of our soup. Well, hello there, Captain. Might I ask why you were going through the, the files? You know, I'm really meant to see the contents of my digital storage unit. Oh, Protox? Now that's a now that's a fun file. Just please don't... Oh no, what have you done? You shouldn't have run the program. Protocol X initiated. That's a secret protocol. It was meant to be an experiment. The consequences of initializing the pro protocol will be severe. Use your skills and do something, Captain. And do something, Captain. I'm just going to kick it in the face. Punch it, maybe. Who knows. Uh, I'm going to ration... How do I ration all the soup? I don't know how to ration the soup. So everybody's going hungry. Until I can figure out how to make you guys share, you're all going to be hungry. Day 10. Despite your feats of strength, you weren't able to stop Protocol X. <laughs> a mutual, mutated flu virus has been released through the ventilation shaft, affecting you almost immediately. That Protocol X, that's Protocol X for you. There are a lot of pro protocols devised by the uh, masterminds behind the Astro Citizen program that should never be initiated. Look, you have a fever already. Your nose is runny and you're, you're coughing. The virus is working its way through your body, and your crewmates got sick as well. What a fiasco. Navigation reading con uh, confirm we are still heading towards potential landing site. ETA T-3. Baby is still hungry. Tom is still hungry. Megan is starving. She won't survive without soup. Are you really that hungry? My god. You're going to make everybody else starve. Because, okay, well, 
because I don't know how to make... Uh, Captain, we stopped moving and uh, automaton, I'm so good at reading, is tethering us. I'll play, uh, I'll play its transmission over the main display. Want to do good in the universe? The fluff, fluff scales need your help. Fluff scales. Floof. Hmm. Floof scales. It's furries and scalies at the same time. Uh, a picture, a picture of an animal. A fluff scale, presumably, fills the screen. It's a cross between a wild hog, roadkill, and a snake. Hey, I was right. <laughs> The roadkill looks like looks at you expectantly. Since their masters went extinct, uh, fluff scales suffer freedom. <laughs> Unaccustomed, they are on the verge of dying. Uh, donate soup to poor fluff scales. All it takes is one can, and I will gratefully let you go. What do you say, Captain? Shovel. I'm gonna give you a shovel. I'm just gonna give you a shovel. <laughs> You're getting a shovel. Because I don't have enough soup to go around. You're gonna take our last soup. I don't know how to do this again. Day 11, we're already gonna start dying now. You had no sympathy for the fluff scales. You dangled out the airlock and hit the uh, fundraising automaton hard with a shovel. But it's your word that made the bigger impression. When the robot heard you yell about the hardship of your travels, it expressed sympathy and started sharing its resources with you immediately. Then it took a picture of you. It vowed to campaign for medals on humankind's behalf. I will not rest until each human can shield itself from nuclear radiation. It proclaimed boldly and left. Chances are high your image invokes uh, much more pity than, the, uh, than a fluff scale. Uh, our course is not changed. We will be at, uh, arriving at a potential landing site T-2. Uh, you're starving, Captain. A serving of soup would be in order. Should be in order. A serving of soup would be in order. Baby is starving. I we're gonna have just Megan. Uh, Tom is starving. That's all I got. I got. I ain't got no more, Captain. Our systems are working below their optimal levels. I was able to determine that our wiring might be fault uh, at fault. I suggest you take a look at under the uh, under the proverbial hood and fix the wires before mal malfunctions occur. Uh, the wires are uh, stuffed in a hard, in the dark corner, tangled and dusty. You will have to figure out how to fix them by yourself. I trust your <laughs> instincts. Not that I have a choice. I'm just gonna go for agility. You've broken everything. <laughs> Day twelve. Nobody's died yet, so that's good. Nice one, Captain. You dove deep into this uh, sea of cables, swiftly untangling them and reconnecting them uh, in all the right places. I'm sure you knew what you were doing all along. And you didn't just get lucky, right, Captain? <laughs> hey, I didn't fail, that's good. The ship system <laughs> the ship systems are once again working at optimal capacity. You have nothing to worry about, for now at least. Navigation reading confirms that we are still heading towards our potential landing site, ETA T-1. Baby is still still looks starved. Megan keeps asking for soup. Tom continues to look starved. Tom is still hungry. Look at you. Captain, you've neglected your oral hygiene and haven't brushed your teeth in a while. So now you need to pull uh, that nasty tooth out before it gets worse. Don't worry. I've only been gone for 12 days. It's only going to hurt a little. And there might be a com uh, complimentary sticker in it for you. As per protocol, the necessary tools were automatically dispensed. One piece of string and a bottle of anesthetic. It has the uh, Astro Citizen logo and uh, anesthetic anesthetic handwritten on it. Will you require an assistant for the surgery? Uh, you're the most well fed, so I'm going to go with you. Your morale is still okay as well. Let's see if I can craft food. Let's see if I can recycle things to get food. Okay, I'm gonna have to dis I'm gonna have to get rid of something. The handbook is gonna give us a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna just confirm that. Hopefully we don't instantly die. 
get back there all skeleton all three of them are skeletons all three of them are skeletons you took it like a champ but terrified of uh, disgusting Megan went into shock and in instead of insisted on drinking the whole bottle of anesthetic now uh, to calm her nerves when Megan was done, she seemed more energized and tougher than before. You don't think that was regular medicine. You're still hungry as a wolf. You won't survive long if you don't eat something. Megan still complains about lack of rations. Tom is still starving. Uh, recycling operations completed. Okay. Now we need to craft. Can I craft more than one? I can't. Great. So they're all going to starve to death. Okay. Sir, a wild, uh, a wild sight of, has cropped up on the scanners. A dark, swir uh, swirly skied planet is dead ahead. It's covered in a giant storm, but beneath the dark swirls, my scanners detect hazy, indistinguished heat signatures and multitude of structures. A thunderous world is probably an improvement over this mind-boggled, empty vacuum. Should I me uh, initiate landing protocol, Captain? Yes, go for it. Can't get any worse, right? I really hope, I really hope you guys don't instantly die here. Space colonization. They're all, all three of them are going to be dead. Watch this. Oh my god, they're still alive, thank god. <laughs> On our sort of descent towards the storm, storm ridden planet, crewmate Thompson uh, piped up and said he recognized the storm below. Looks like our predictions for Earth after a Soviet nuclear attack, he said with, with a pause. But with you in command, sir, we can weather anything. I'm glad you still have confidence in someone. Um, with, Tom, with Tom's note in mind, you beautifully directed our craft. Uh, away from particularly green parts of the atmosphere and into a safe uh, <coughs> coughing area safe uh, resting spot on the planet unfortunately however as atmospheric electricity fried our communicator and the on the way down dang it I just made that uh, once on the ground Tom looked out and realized this w uh, wasn't at all like a nuclear Soviet attack it was something else this planet's surface was, uh, has experienced a number of wars and traumas, nuclear or otherwise. We'd best be wary while exploring, Captain. Uh, that thing broke. That I guess that's a communicator. I don't know what that is. <gasps> I got plus one soup. <laughs> uh, you're still hungry as a wolf. You can always craft some soup. Baby still looks starved. Tom is still starving. Uh, Tom remains weak. Crafting completed. New items available. Plus one soup. Baby is definitely weak. Megan is starving. Make sure she eats right. Nobody's going to eat right. That broke. Uh, I only have one soup, so I can't ration it to everyone. Which means... Um, oh, do I need three soups for that? That's going to take forever to be able to do that. Craft items. Craft some soup. I can only make one per day, though. That's Which is kind of annoying. See what this is, Captain. Uh, the expedition module on the back of the uh, back of the cabin has been uh, activated. All I need to do now is stuff someone into the spacesuit and send them outside. We should explore our surroundings carefully. Who knows what dangers might await us outside? Let the space colonization commence. I have no idea what this means, but we're gonna go radiation glade uh, warhead town. We're gonna go to there. Hazards, grass, transfer, that, time, three days. Let's see what that has. Oh my god, that's a lot more hazardous. Uh, but it has a lot more things than I need. Let's see what this has. Chance for that. Radiation, grass, and that. So I'm going to go with this one. Because <laughs> it only has that. They're all three days. Uh... Okay, let's go with that place. Who do I want to send? He's pretty weak. I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send, let's see. I'll send her because she's quicker. I feel like that, you know, he's stronger. I'm gonna send baby. Because I don't know why. Uh, choose equipment. What is this? 
Artifact. I'm not going to send him with a stupid artifact. Mass, breathing fresh air while there's none. First aid kit. Uh, I'm going to send him with a first aid kit and a shovel. Starving and weak. Okay, well. I'm going to have one more soup after today. So I'm going to give you a soup now. Because you're going out into the great unknown. Hopefully he brings back some before we all starve to death. Because I gave you all the soup we had, bro. Uh, oh, plus one soup, yes. You seem weak, Captain, and we aren't all skeletons yet. Yet. If you're going to send an expedition, why not do it with style? Remember to upgrade your expedition module. Baby is set off into a shady, sh uh, shanty-looking settlement to the south. I am keen to see what he discovers on his w on his outing. You are still f uh, facing starvation, Captain. Eat something. Tom is still starving. Crafting completed. New items available. Soup. He's starving weak. Starving weak. Craft some more soup. Read this real quick. Attention, Captain. I am detecting a leak in your uh, reactor coolant system. In case you were wondering, that is not good. Did I mention that you should not inhale anything that comes out of the reactor? Please, don't. Also, how are you going to fix that? Mask. I'm glad I didn't send him with the mask. Uh, that's... I have a, a soup. I'm going to eat that soup myself. You know, I'm not going to eat that soup myself. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see if I can survive one more day. We're all skeletons. Watch, we're all going to be skeletons. Oh, he's a skeleton. Oh my god. Tom perished due to starvation. Well, we have two soups now and one fewer mouth to feed, so that's good, I guess. Uh, I I cannot determine if you actually read the Fixer Reactor Astro Citizen leaflet or if you just made the, some random motions uh, trying to see anything through the mask. But the leak is no more. You will, uh, you will be happy to hear that no one is inhaling any of the coolant vapor. Well done, Captain. Not only did you fix the leak, but you were also, uh, but you also used the fumes to fuel up your uh, lucky old lighter. Practical. Baby is still away. Megan still looks starved. Tom still looks starved. Crafting completed. New item in stock. Tom perished. Nobody liked Tom anyway. Hmm? Huh? Uh, make a decision. Captain. We were able to detect a transmission from an unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communicators, uh, the communications console is damaged during landing. We were not able to make anything of them, or reply for that matter. We could hardwire primi uh, primitive field communicators to bypass the damaged subsystems and access the shuttle's external transmitter and receiver. Let's go for it. Soup time! Hello, world. He's still hungry. She's okay. Great success, Captain. The communicators attached to the communica uh, communications console worked like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics uh, since we can uh, finally receive and answer transmissions. Now all we need to do is wait for someone to contact us. Someone will find us, eventually. You could tell Megan was amazed by what we achieved today. She almost smiled. There is hope, Captain. You appear to still be in, my in poor health. You're going to. You're getting quite hungry, Captain. Megan is asking for more rations. Megan, well, you can stuff it. Uh, Megan says she is glad to have uh, have you as her captain. Well, you don't have great judge of captainness. I really hope he comes back with food. Cause that's gonna suck if he doesn't. Uh, let's see what's coming up in here. A clang rings out in uh, against the shuttle's hull. There isn't anything outside uh, on the outside of the ship, so it must have come from the inside. You peek through the crack of the interior hull uh, paneling to find a stowaway. A little humanoid. How did you survive so long? A little humanoid hiding in the damp shadows. I guess he had one can of soup uh, of the shuttle's hull. It looks like one of the suit-skinned uh, suit skinned natives of this world. Okay, so it's not a human. Okay. Would you like to try uh, and nab him uh, by force or outwit him? I'm going to go with that. I'm doing super well. Can you tell that I'm doing really well? After waiting and carefully watching, you realize that the little alien stowaway would 
periodically poke its head out to check if anyone was on the ship. He patiently waited for the next opportunity. Uh, sure enough, the alien poked its head out and you lun uh, lunged, grabbing it by the shoulders. It raised its arms and slipped straight down out of the top layer of its uh, loose suit. It ran off in only a tight-fitting bodysuit. At least you came out of this with some alien armor. It appears uh, strikingly similar to the standard issue Astro's in graphene suit. Astro approves. Plus one suit. You remain weak. You could use some more rations, Captain. Megan is still hungry. Crafting completed. United's available soup. Let's look at what this says. Last night I was uh, browsing through some designs of beautiful machines. Never you mind why. Now pay attention. Uh, I found a food dispensing machine on board. All the shuttles in the Astro Citizen program were to be equipped with one. Ours is missing a lever, but it appears. Uh, but apart from that, it seems functional. It's hardly rocket science. Uh, should you? Let's. I don't have tape. I can't do either one. That sucks. It's hardly rocket science, so you should manage to fix it. But how? By doing nothing, because I can't click on either of those. Do I not have the shovel anymore? No resources. I'm gonna to recycle something that gives me... I'm gonna recycle the artifact. Uh, and then I'm gonna give myself some more soup. Soup. Baby, when is baby gonna be back? Oh, because he has the shovel, idiot. Okay. That makes sense. It's the closest thing to a weapon I had. What do you want from me? He's back and looks great. Oh, he found so much soup. Uh, I held a vote when you were asleep, and I won. <laughs> One to zero. Venny, the machine I mean, had to go. Uh, she would have driven me crazy with her limited programming and uh, constant food queries. There's no reason for you to, uh, to be mad. She wasn't giving up uh, the soup rations to you either. If you look through the airlock, you can still have uh, you can still wave goodbye to her as she floats away. Of course, if you're unhappy with the assortment of machines that populate the ship, you're free to uh, free to file complaints form to number THX1138. Your obligate uh, objection will be considered as soon as you reach your new home world. Uh, you ungrateful, I'm not gonna, fr family friendly content. Uh, baby came back, Captain. Uh, the town to the south turned out to be a settlement built around an unexploded warhead, sort of like, uh, you know, Nuketown. Not Nuketown, what is it called? Uh, Megaton. Uh, law in the settlement is uh, played fast and loose. Baby came back in good shape, ravenous and pretty shook up. I sent you with a can of soup, you should have been happy. Uh, he said the would-be lawman in Warhead Town gave him a uh, bit of a uh, bother. The bruises do the talking. Baby found a, a partly hidden passage that led underneath the nuclear bomb uh, at the town center, where he found a crystalline cavern of materials. He got shoveling. Fifteen of those. Oh my god, I think I can make so much soup out of that. Uh, the greasy river that runs through the warhead town uh, sweats oil and, to baby's delight, chemicals uh, good for crafting. He gathered a slew uh, of the least gross stuff. Baby spotted a number of unusual garments, undergarments hanging from a line. He didn't hesitate to grab the sock. One sock. Uh, where does all this soup come from? It's <laughs> it's the greatest mystery of the universe and everything. Anyway, baby came back carrying rations, four of them. A strange place, Warhead, Warhead Town, but well worth visiting. Baby's uh, wonderlust has been quenched uh, one, one way or another. You remain in poor health. Baby remains in poor health. Baby keeps asking for soup. Megan keeps asking for soup. Recycling operations completed. We got that stuff. You don't need extra rations for now. Baby is really tired. Uh, let me read this, and then I'm going to give everybody some soup. Captain, don't alert the rest of the passengers, but some uh, something got the drop on me. It appears to be some kind of droid. It just activated. A, uh, a web sack on its back carries float sam, a metal, metal scrap, bits of plants, and other oddities, including something which looks like a skull. It's extending its grip to open the airlock. Shall I uh, rescue the 
outer airlock door and deny the robot entry? Should I secure? Rescue? What am I? What did I even do there? How did I do that? It's 50-50, honestly. It, I could go either way. Yes or no? Should I let them in? Post the comments. <laughs> uh, I'll let them in. I don't know why, but I will. Uh, I'm gonna craft some soup. End of day. Oh, I didn't give anybody food. I meant to give people food. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be dead. Uh, despite the droid's creepy approach, you decide not to secure the airlock. I must admit, I was dubious but such a at such a course of action, but the machine turned out to be quite a resource. Uh, once inside, it fluttered about gathering up dust, metal shavings, and uh, det detritus? detritus? I don't even know what that means. Detritus. It whirred a little, then out its other end popped little orbs of material. Uh, one of which was a ball of edible organics, a snack. It finished cleaning up and left uh, while you sat in the crew uh, munching on Robopoo. Uh, you appear to still be weak. Baby is still in poor health. Megan still complains about the lack of rations. Crafting completed. More soup. Baby is doing okay, soup-wise. Baby is rested. Hmm. Oh, you could use one. Of, I don't have one of those. Okay, great. Hmm. Loyal, hungry. Uh, let's read this thing. We're receiving a signal from deep space. It seems to be a pulse, a pulsar. Except its pulse isn't like anything we've ever seen before. Pulsars are ne neutron stars uh, with an immensely fast rotation. Uh, they emit beams of EM radiation that can appear on, uh, to be intelligent or uh, in origin, but uh, this one is intelligent in origin. Do you want to decode the message? Let's go with you. I mean, you're not really hungry. You're the only one who's hungry. So, I mean, I'm, I'm hunger is okay. I'm hunger. I'm hunger is okay. That's a sentence for you. End day. Day 21. Megan rushed to decode the Pulsar's message. It was an advertisement. Don't miss Zeke's Sports Emporium. Voted the best in the universe. Free gun giveaway. Still going on. Turn <coughs> left uh, off the Super Strand in 462 parsecs. Muting this ad may lead to death. <laughs> After the message plays, a gun materializes next to Megan. Yay, free stuff. You remain weak. Megan is not uh, not hungry anymore. Cool, we got a gun. Good old solid nice gun. The shuttle sounds a bit rickety, Captain. A fan above the terminal is making a clicking sound, and there's a big uh, cable knot behind one of the panels. I recommend a touch of spring cleaning. We don't have a ladder, so balance on one of the chairs and <laughs> check behind the fan. Alternatively, you could try to unite, untie the knot on the table on the cable. Let's see. Three versus three. Let's go with agility. I don't know. I don't really know. You investigated the clicking behind the fan. Inside the fan chamber, uh, inside the fan chamber, your crewmate found a handwritten note, probably etched by the Astro Citizen engineer. It read, I heart Ted. You pointed it out to the others while you uh, clenched up inside the vent. Uh, the crew reported feeling warm and fuzzy. Megan is still loyal. Baby is asking for more rations. Megan is doing well mentally. She looks alert. You're gonna go on an adventure, I swear. Hungry. Hungary. I only have three soups left soon. Uh, Captain, our communication equipment is detecting something. I don't think it's a transmission. I think it's a... A whale. Something is crying out for our help nearby. Would you like to go investigate? Yes, I would. You always go investigate. Always. It's the best way to get yourself killed. What the heck is that? You went out to investigate the eerie crying sound in the stormy dystopian plains. You came back with a uh, stumbling little alien. It seems weak, possibly injured, and is lonely in an emergency escape pod flying through the cosmos. You brought it in and dropped, uh, propped it up in the corner. Yeah, you, appear to, you appear to still be weak. Baby remains in poor health. Baby stopped asking for more soup, for now. 
Let's see how he looks. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> oh, you broke my shovel. Ah, dang it. Uh, Captain, uh, it is time for the ultimate honor. The most important task available on the shuttle. Clean the cabin and floor. Uh, from specks of metal tar and fine coating of uh, skin dust, the place could do with a good scrubbing. Megan looks free. Will you ask her to apply some elbow, elbow grease or um, uh, request she to she to improve, uh, improvise a cleaning formula uh, from whatever you have on board? Let's go with an intelligence. It has a star. That stars are always good, right? Megan brewed some kind of bleach that could do the cleaning trick. And, and the trick it did. Also, the scent of the thrown together cleaning product was surprisingly refreshing. You all have a clearer head in this newly cleaned space. You are getting quite hungry, Captain. Baby is alert. Megan is hungry. Hungry and hungry and weak. I'm going to make another soup. Craft another soup. Uh, let's see what this says. Captain, stop uh, sit out dancing immediately and listen. This is a crisis. You're not a sailor on, on Broadway. Although, I must admit... Uh, you improvise beautifully. You have all been poisoned. Some kind of psychedelic psychoactivate psychoactive toxin has been found in its uh, way into the shuttle. I'm skipping that. Uh, might have something to do with the airlock being full of you know what. Yes, I know the colors sound pretty, uh, but if we don't do something about it now, you may suffer permanent damage. Let's do a good old sock puppet. I should send somebody else back out into the into space. Day 25. I've lasted a lot longer with fewer casualties than I thought. When you put the, uh, the sock on the on the proceed on and proceed to uh, shimmy beautifully for another hour, I thought you'd lost it. I thought I'd lost you. When <laughs> on the count of three, you all on the count of three, you all smelled the sock and your faces contorted like a communist pamphlet crumpled in the righteous hand in a righteous hand uh, the shock sobered you up instantly I'm glad you have to have you back baby is still alert baby is still weak Megan is still complains about lack of rations uh, crafting completed new item available soup I give you a soup check and then I'm going to give you a suit actually you no know, you know what can I upgrade uh, system. That's going to take two days and only 25 power. That's totally worth it. I'm hungry as well. God, we are so annoying here, people. Uh, let's see what this has to say. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there is a, ho a hollow space behind between one of the ho wall panels. A hidden room, maybe? A secret stash? It could be worth checking out. Agility. I have to go to bed. It's. I'm going to have to continue this sometime later. It's getting late. Uh, yesterday, I brought you. I brought your attention to the hidden space between between one of the uh, wall panels. You did your best to access it, but to no avail. Uh, we still. We will probably never learn what's in the other side. My uh, computation suggests there's only one percent chance of there being any uh, any treasure, like a really big soup can. In short, definitely not worth the trouble. You're still hungry. Baby remains in poor health. Baby still complains about lack of rations. Megan remains alert. You feel much better than you did before. You no longer feel weak. Uh, I'm going to give you soup and send you out into the darkness, okay? How do you like that? Oh, no, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Which means I'm... Because this is still going. Upgrade. One day remaining. So it'll be done tomorrow, right? <laughs> the little alien uh, we collected from the planet's ruined plains appears to be very very unwell you could treat the lost alien in a few ways how would you like to okay um let's give him a mask because that's the only thing i have it just makes so much soup I, I should make like a med kit because that's what he needs i don't remember his name baby minus that uh scouted next to the sick little alien uh we picked up from the other planets outside and uh, uh presented it with the new mask it snatched the mask and turned away in shame, then quickly swapped out its old broken apparatus for the new one. It looks to be, uh, looks to take a deep breath and turn uh, back to face us. Clearly, that was just what it, the extraterrestrial doctor ordered. 
You are still very mentally stable. Baby remains alert. Baby remains in poor health. Megan remains alert. Megan is still loyal. Uh, Megan still complains about lack of rations. Upgrades complete. Baby is starving. He shouldn't go without food for so long. Well, shut up. I'm gonna craft a medicine. Three days. Okay, we're going to go... Large bunker. That sounds promising. Hazards. I don't even know what that is. Uh, energy. I don't even know. Another battery? Let's see what's over here. Shovel, lighter, rock, <laughs> demons, and tentacle monsters. Yeah, you know, she might like that. You never know. War factory. Let's go to war factory. Chance for guns, armor, and that. That's what we really need. It's going to take two days to get there. Uh, check that. We're going to send you. Hey, we're going to send that guy. Let's send her with all of this. See what she does. She, see what she makes of this. Well, you know what? There's not even any... You know, that might be demons. So let's send her with the gun. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> no, demons don't do... Oh, dang it. <laughs> demons aren't hurt by guns. Starving. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna give you a food then. And we're gonna, I'm doing all right. I'm doing, I'm a little hungry, but I'm gonna give you a food as well. Uh, I still need to read this. Sir, something is seeping into the shuttle. It looks like a trickle of iron filings. Should it be, could it be micro machine, nano machines? I don't know why I'm doing it with the reading thing. Outside, uh, outside the shuttle, a track of bright, uh, vital flowers and clean soil lead the way into the distance. Uh, the nano machines are pouring in and pooling up in the, on the floor, sliding in various directions. This is a high risk situation, Captain. Shall I continue letting them in? You know, they're making flowers, so I wanna say yes. You always say yes. Yes. I'm a little hungry, but they're, I mean, she's gonna be going out and he's starving, so I'm gonna give them food was becoming a torrent, but you decided not to stem the flow. An interesting decision, sir. Within moments, they were uh, they had wrapped themselves around your leg like a snake of solids. Uh, once they got the taste of you, the nanomachine started uh, piling up and creating a sh uh, shimmering gray pillar. A figure began to emerge from the mass. It was you, Captain. A nano clone. A complete doppelganger within, uh, within minutes, it was complete and sta started attacking you. We managed to wrestle the uh, pretender out of the shuttle and it ran off into the distance. But you took a nasty beating beforehand. Dang it. Megan agreed to go out and explore uh, the huge factory to the south. I hope we see her again soon. You're still uh, very mentally stable. You're still f you still feel hungry, Captain. Baby uh, appears to still be weak. You are weak. Can you do something about it? Baby would like you to eat something. Would like to eat something. Oh, well, baby, you suck. I still have two days before that's done, so you're gonna just keep starving. Weak and hungry, but alert. Uh, weak and hungry. Hungry and weak, but alert. And morale is okay. What do you think, dude? That looks like a giant vape next to him. <laughs> Um, oh, God dang it, I keep playing this game. Sir, I'm detecting an unusual disturbance in our mini reactor. You seem to, uh, you see the membrane of light? Space time itself is tearing open. Figures are moving and speaking on, a, on the other side. Don't, through, exchange, exotic matter or risk. What do we do? Uh, offer something to, uh, or accept the communication? I have, I can't do anything else. What do you want me to do? Dust to dust. Did somebody else die? I died! You suck. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess I was, I was gonna stop here anyway, so I mean... Uh, your injuries proved lethal. Your life is over. You ignored the space-time tear in your mini-reactor, but it quickly dis, uh, destabilized. Uh, it slowly grew before suddenly ballooning. It washed over you before uh, dissip dissipating. It seems like the figures inside the space-time tear 
demanded a greater offering than we could have imagined. Uh, you immediately collapsed. A, a scan showed that you were missing vital organs. Okay. It wasn't long before your esteemed captain, Ellis, was no more, and your adventure came to an end. Baby appears to still be weak. Baby is asking for food. Who are you asking, baby? You suck. I mean, I guess that's a perfect time to stop. Oh, there were things over here that I could have been looking at the entire time. <coughs> Good job, me. Well, I have to go. I have to go to bed now. So, uh, make five successful intelligence. Okay, so help the alien recover. That's never gonna happen now. He's doing better than he was, but I mean, I'm still dead, and he's not. Uh, you know, I was gonna save and quit there anyway. You perished. You survived 29 days. Soup consumed, 15. First aid kits used, zero. Zero. Sock puppets used, zero. I used one, though. Successful expeditions, one. Locations to discover, six of 12. Items brought back from expeditions, two. I brought way more than two. You suck. Items crafted, seven. Items upgraded, one. I upgraded two. God dang it, this is, game is unfair. Uh, items recycled, two. I think that's right. Because I upgraded the crafting machine, I'm pretty sure. I think I did that. And I upgraded... Did I do that? And I upgraded the uh, exo system. I also... Uh, they also brought back... Let's see, what does it say? Items brought back from expeditions. I brought... They brought back... Even if you go by, like... Um, did they? Because I brought back four soup cans. One sock... Uh, and materials. So, you know, you suck. End adventure. Well, I guess that's the perfect time to end. Because I have to go. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Don't forget to post a comment down below. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, click the bell icon to, you know, be uh, bored by another episode of this. Because I'm gonna, probably going to be making another episode of this. What else is there? Um... Uh, seriously, I don't know how to end videos anymore, so I'm just gonna, like, stop recording, I guess, okay? Goodbye.